Well, aloha. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today on this most current live stream and podcast. My name is Paul Fletcher, and this is The Healing Source. Very excited for today's qua, today's subject because it is the fourth in the series of 10. For those of you that have been following, you're probably excited as well. I started by sharing the greatest quality of the greatest love, Da I. And then Da Quan Chu, the greatest forgiveness. Last week was Da Tzu Bei, greatest compassion. Each week, I will be going through each of these 10 qualities. Today is Da Guang Ming, the greatest light. And I hope you join me for next week when we talk about the greatest humility, Da Chen Bei. If you missed any of these, make sure that you go back and watch at least the first one, Da I, because I set the foundation for these 10 extraordinary qualities. These qualities are life attributes, the ways we can bring ourselves to life. And I don't mean externally in terms of, a, of an action. I also mean by our own thoughts towards ourself, our thoughts, words, and actions towards others as well. One of the one of the biggest things that's happening with humanity today is, uh, at least in the external appearances, it appears that there's not a lot of light. And this is very sad. Only in the like-minded groups where people of like mind, people of light intention, can we find validation that there's a lot of light. But generally speaking, the world is in a bit of a turmoil now, and it's very sad. I remember, you know, many years ago when I was a, uh, just past teenagehood, you know, in my young 20s, looking at the world and saying, what a mess this place is. Who'd want to bring a child into this world? It's such a mess. And I kind of was, you know, having mild enlightenment thoughts, I would say. And some of those thoughts included, you know, uh, it's so sad that we went through the, 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 the deep, dark times of the knights and the kings and, 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 and all of the, um, the taking over of entire countries by sword. And, and, and then we went through, you know, uh, destroying uh, at least the country I'm in and, and with the, the native americans that were here we took their land and i thought you know somewhere along the line in the last two thousand years we might have become a bit more conscious and a bit more aware and not been interested in taking over the land next to us but unfortunately it seems that there is some um a, a lack of light in in different parts of the world and so the good news is that da i the greatest light, and all of these 10 qualities carry with them a very, very high frequency and vibration. And they are, when implemented, they can change everything. I'm reminded of, of studies that have been done, actual validated studies, where people have gotten together and meditated five, ten thousand 10,000 people for a specific city. And they measured the, the data of the city's crime rates, et cetera, prior to that meditation. And then they measured it afterwards. And they removed anything that could be misconstrued as false leads. And they were able to, to really validate the efficacy of consciousness working in the same direction. And that's the way it works with the greatest light as well. <clears throat> My teacher, Dr. and Master Shah, is the one that brought these 10 qualities to humanity. Of course, he doesn't take claim for them. He received them in his meditations, and then he wrote them in books, and then he's been teaching us how to implement them in our thoughts and our words and our actions. So what then is the greatest light? Well, I'm going to share with you uh, a four-phrase statement. 
<laughs> these four phrases go with the mantra that is stated here. And uh, Dr. and Master Shah is Mandarin Chinese, so you will see these written in both English and Mandarin. And this is, of course, the enunciation. Um, si da guang ming, wo zai dao guang zhong, dao guang zai wo zhong, tong ti to ming. It's a mouthful if you're only speaking English, right? But I've been working with this for a while, so it flows pretty easily for me. So the first sentence, Si Da Guang Ming, means the fourth of the ten Da qualities is the greatest light and transparency. Notice that second word. It's not just the greatest light, it's and and transparency. <clears throat> the second line, Wo Zai Dao Guang Zhong, I am within Dao Source Light. Now again, for those of you that are new here for the very first time, I want you to, uh, or listening for the very first time, I want you to understand that um, Tao is a word that means source. It's not a religion. It's not a belief system. Taoism is a belief system. Buddhism, Christianity, those are belief systems. The word Tao simply means source. So if you hear this, these words, then replace the word Tao with source, and you'll start to understand more clarity. Uh, the second line, Wo Zai Dao Guang Zhong, I am within the source light. Dao Guang Zai Wo Zhong, the source light is within me. And then the final line, Tong Ti To Ming. Tong Ti is your body, your whole body. Uh, to Ming is transparent. So your whole body is transparent. So these phrases, are truly remarkable by simply by chanting them you are shifting your personal frequency and vibration simply by chanting them you are becoming one with the source the source is within you already but we are far from the source because we are so in, ingrained into this third dimensional experience that you know every breath every flavor every vision everything we see grabs our attention and pulls us left, pulls us right. Every time the phone dings, it pulls your attention there, right? So we are far from the source, but the source is always within us. There's one of the most important characteristics of this quality, the greatest light, is the recognition that I am within source and source is within us. Now, let me give you a different example moving away from a human being. We have on this earth a huge ocean. Three quarters of the planet is water. And these oceans are filled and teeming with life. Uh, you know, we have fish, plankton, coral, whales, dolphins, just beautiful, beautiful life. And this life sustains us. Now, imagine you were a fish born in the ocean. And that's what you know. You, 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 you came into the ocean and your first uh, water breath in the ocean through your gills was of this ocean, and that's all you've ever known. You you swum in the ocean, you never flew out of the water and looked around and say, oh, there's air up here. You've just been swimming in this big ocean. That's you and me. We are swimming in this big ocean, and we don't know what's above the waves. We've never actually jumped out and above the waves. In this human experience, we'd call that enlightenment. <laughs> we would call that a higher consciousness. But we are very much like the fish swimming in the ocean that is completely oblivious of our interconnection to that ocean. Uh, we literally breathe in the source and we exhale the source. Earlier today in my uh, membership program, um, I was doing a abundance session. Okay, every Wednesday in my membership, I, I do free healing. Uh, I do free healing every day, but this one was on abundance, right? And when I was searching for what calligraphy do I work with to in, to share with people, uh, it was Dao De. It was a Dao Source Dao De, which is the source creates and the source nourishes. Wow, why was that the one that heaven chose? Why was the one, the one I was guided to? The source creates, the source nourishes. Because it ties into this statement right here. I am within Tao. Tao is within me. The source created you and me. That's what we go back to. When we're done, when we die, 
this body becomes a part of this earth again. We just blend with the earth. We're done. And yet, when we <clears throat> uh, recognize that we are one with the source, when we align with the source, we are that light. That light is us. I am that light. So when I taught this class this morning, and I was guided to do the calligraphy, source creates, source nourishes, or Tao creates, Tao nourishes, uh, it was very insightful for me. Because what it's saying is, if you want anything in your life, you can either swim there of your own efforts, or you can simply ride the current that already exists. So if you're that fish in the ocean of the human here on earth, you can swim hard to get there, or you can simply let go and go with the current, and you'll get there with much greater ease and almost no effort. But we're so busy in this human life being stuck in our stuff. I have to do this. I have to do this. Me, me, me. When we realize I am in this field of light already, it is within me already. My only uh, responsibility is to acknowledge that. And that's very much like the fish becoming conscious that the source, in this case, the ocean, is why the fish is alive. Whereas prior to that consciousness, the fish thinks that he must do everything all by himself. You see, so let us work with this <coughs> consciousness. <coughs> I'm going to place a calligraphy that uh, my teacher has created, and it's called Dagwang Ming. I'll put up a different slide now. And uh, probably those with me live on the live stream are familiar with this. Those that will be listening on podcasts, you won't be able to see this piece of uh, art, uh, but that's okay. As I do in all my podcasts, I offer blessings for all those that are on the listening side versus on the visual side. So the image is up has three characters. Da Guang Ming translates to the greatest light. Now Ming is the bottom character. We haven't really talked about that. And one of the unique things about understanding Ming is Master Sha explains it as Tong Ti To Ming, the whole body is transparent. What does that mean? That means you have become one with the source. It's like the fish becoming one with the ocean. It's like you and I, when this body dies, guess what happens? We become one with the light again, the same light we originated in, the same light that was in us the whole time we're in this physical experience, we return to. And we go, oh, that's where I came from, and that's where I'm at. And I spent this last 100 years fighting everything. So when we trace Da Guang Mi, when we chant the mantra that goes with it, what in essence we are doing is we are adjusting our frequency and vibration to realign to the source that is always within us. And we, of course, are always within that source. And as we do that, there's a natural side effect, which is things get easier. We become light. We become that which we already are. <clears throat> so. Uh, we will chant the mantra, and we will trace the style calligraphy. Again, for those that are new, you touch all five fingers together, and then you follow the lines as you see them. Now, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, put myself on the side here so it's easier to see. And let us go ahead and trace, and we'll chant the mantra in Mandarin, which, again, might be new for some of you. So you'll catch on. Let us go. Si da guang mi wo zai dao guang zhong dao guang zai wo zhong tong ti to mi I am within the source. The source is within me. I am within the source. The source is within me. I am within the source. The source is within me. Sudagwang <clears throat> me. Zai Dao Guang Jong 
道光在我中，头剃秃明。I am within the sword. The sword is within me. I am within swords. The source is within me. Wo zai dao guang zhong. Dao guang zai wo zhong. 我在道光中，道光在我中。I am within the source. The source is within me. I am within the source. The source is within me. Sita Guang Ming, I am in Dao Guang Zhong. Dao Guang is in me. Tong. 剃秃明。So let's ask the soul, the frequency, healing vibration, and more that's transmitted through this source healing art to serve a individual request. So I want you to think of a place in your life where you're most stuck. That would be the place that you're not allowing the source in. That would be the place you're trying to do it all by yourself. So identify that place you're trying to do it all by yourself, because you certainly know more than the source, right? You're far more advanced, far more capable than that which created you. You don't need the help from the source. It's like the fish saying, "I don't need the ocean's help to breathe through my gills or to move from here to there." I'm perfectly fine, all by myself. How silly is that fish? How silly are we? So find that place in your life that represents you not allowing the source to naturally move you with its natural current. And repeat after me, dear, the soul of this blockage in my life. And in my own soul, dear the soul of my source creator, I love you all. Please forgive me the false belief that I could do this all by myself. Please forgive me for not realizing that I am within you, and you are already within me, ready to help me, ready to take this weight off my shoulder. I'm so sorry, Mike. Lack of light, my lack of wisdom and understanding of this simple truth. As I chant and trace, could you please bless me to release my attachments to doing it by myself? Help me to let go of any ego blockages that I may be holding on to, thinking I have. Do this by myself. Please bless me to open my heart and my consciousness to your love and your light, your greatest light, and help me to allow you to naturally dissolve this block. Thank, thank, thank. So now, see light coming to this area of request. If it's a Something that's not physical, then just see it coming to your heart center, lightening your load. Let the light flow through you like the water flows through the fish. 
赐大光明，我在道光中，道光在我中，同其透明。四大光明，我在道光中，道光在我中，同体透明。I am within Tao Source. Tao Source is within me. I am within Tao Source. Tao Source light is within me. I am within Tao Source light. Tao Source light is within me. I am within Tao Source. Thou source light is within me. I am within Thou source. Thou source light is within me. I am within Thou source. Thou source light is within me. I am within Thou source. Thou source light is within me. Wo zai dao guang zhong. Dao guang zai wo zhong. Wo zai dao wo zhong. Dao guang zai wo zhong. And as you continue the train, feel the light through your whole body. See the source swirling within you, as it always has. Allow it to wash away your mental and emotional constructs that you erected with the belief that you're all alone, doing it all by yourself. Like a tidal wave washing away your wooden pier of wrong thought, allow it to wash away. Allow the source to bring to you your happiness, what you want. How do you get there from where you're at? <clears throat> you follow happiness. What makes you happy? Do more of it. And when that's finished, find the next thing that makes you happy. It could simply be picking something up off the ground if it makes you happy. It could be pulling the gray out of your hair if that makes you happy. It could be putting a kiss on the cheek of your child or your animal. That's what makes you happy. By following your passion and your happiness from moment to moment to moment to moment to moment to moment, to moment you are allowing. The source light that is always within to come to the surface, and that source light is your guide. What is the next thing that will make me happy? By following your guidance, you are shortening the path of resistance. You are creating the highest and best environment for the source to bring you what you want. It is when we have to do it all by ourselves. That we block the sword that is already within you. This is okay. That's what you want. I'm happy to give you what you want. So choose a different want. Choose a happiness. Choose things that raise your vibration. The natural side effect, and this then allows the flow of the want to where it needs to go. Source can deliver. Tao Source creates 
Dao Source nourishes. Source created you. It's trying to nourish you. Are you allowing? Two more minutes. Tsu Da Guang Ming. Wo Zai Dao Guang Zhong. Dao Guang Zai Wo Dong. Tong Chi Tu Ming. shares in the chat group that she while she's tracing she can feel the heat in her fingertips beautiful anybody else if you had an experience feel free to share so again for those that are on podcast i was tracing for you you're receiving huge blessings of course all those online are receiving these blessings and what do we want to take away from what has been shared here today <clears throat> when we bring each of these qualities into our life, being a little more loving in our thoughts, words, and our actions, especially towards ourselves, being more forgiving. We don't have to stand on our high heels and be in a place of self righteousness, never help anybody. Being more compassionate that's what that's opening the heart. And today's wisdom acknowledging. The light that is already within you, acknowledging the frequency and vibration that's already there. And getting out of our own way. This is the wisdom of Da Guang Mi. As you allow source to flow through you, you naturally become invisible, as the word share. So what is invisible? That means that we are becoming more and more light. We are becoming more of what? Our original nature is. Following nature's way, Dao Fa Tzu Ran, following nature's way, mean remembering, acknowledging, and recognizing that you are always within the source and the source is always within you. So if you want to bring more of this energy into your life, then chant this mantra. Doesn't matter if you're chanting English, doesn't matter if you're chanting Mandarin. What you're doing is you are disabling the monkey mind when you chant it you are enabling the light that is already within you and you are by by increasing this frequency you are uh, literally washing away all that would keep you from receiving what it is you're wanting okay so i look forward to hearing from you guys i invite all of you to make sure you uh, subscribe to my podcast i also for anybody that is not aware <coughs> um i have a, a membership that you're welcome to try. Um, if you go to my website, wellspringoflight.com, I have a five-day trial program in my membership, 100% free. And you can experience sessions like this where we focus on all things for your health and wellness. This includes your bodily health, your emotional balance, your mental health. It also includes spiritual growth, chakras, energy centers, things of that nature, and categories like these 10 dots. Five days a week, I'm doing these sessions, and they're recorded, and you can access those recordings in case you missed it. So it doesn't matter where in the world you are, I'm able to serve you. And for all those that join my full membership, every day I heal you. Every day I offer healing for one of your requests. If you join the Silver Level membership, two requests. If you join the Gold Level membership, three requests. I have quite a few students that are in the Silver and Gold. 
And that means every day I'm doing blessings for two of their requests. One might be finances, one might be relationship. One might be a health issue, one might be for their child. But it's a very uh, key part of what I'm able to do to help serve you, to serve humanity. So if you'd like to know more, go to my website, wellspringoflight.com. Take advantage of those free five days and uh, allow me to serve you. So I want to thank you all for coming. And we'll talk to you all very soon. Until next time, have an awesome day, everybody. Bye-bye.